everybody. Welcome to Stitching with Paprika. Thank you for joining me on this fine day. I got some yarn. I bought, I went to Meyer today. We had to go shopping. Adora started school on Tuesday, the 5th. You guys are seeing this on Monday the 11th. She started school. So she started school last Tuesday. Um, and then she came home absolutely starving. I said, okay, let's get you some snacks. I said, did you eat at school? And she said, yeah. So what did you eat? She had peanut butter and jelly at lunch and she had goldfish crackers as a snack. So I said, okay, got that straightened out. You're hungry. Let's go get you some snacks. So we got her some snacks. And then I told my husband, I said, we don't have enough snacks in there for her. We need to go get some more snacks. So we went to the store and we bought some snacks. We bought like all the snacks. We bought her goldfish crackers. We bought her some hostess cupcakes and some, some little apple pies. And we bought her some cookies and we bought her some, those little Debbie muffins and I think that's it we bought a lot of stuff and it didn't help that I went to the store hungry <laughs> so I'm like oh she'll like this oh she'll like that let's get this let's get this everything went in the basket so <laughs> yeah she's gonna have she's gonna have a lot of snacks but it's fine so we're in we're we're, we're shopping we went to look at the Halloween stuff which they had a couple of cute things there but we only got the only thing I bought was a <clears throat> a light bulb that is orange and it looks when you plug it in when you when you plug it in when you screw it into the lamp or wherever you're putting it it looks like it's fire like it's flickering so I bought that I have a lamp post out front I want to see if it works it hasn't worked since we moved in but I also haven't tried to change the light bulb out there I don't know if that light bulb that's in there is any good so I'm going to try to change it. If it works, the, the flickering light thing is going to be out there for Halloween. If not, I'll just take the flickering light and put it in the lamp in my living room for Halloween. So we did that. I bought the, I bought the light bulb. Um, I saw some other stuff over there that was cute, but I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't great. It was cute, but it wasn't great. So, um, yeah. And then on our way over to look at the snacks because for those of you who don't know my Meyer excuse me Meyer is like a superstore it's kind of like Walmart kind of like Target but heavier on the groceries Target's only got like a small section of groceries Meyer's Meyer's is more like Walmart I guess you could say it's superstore it's got clothes groceries um home stuff pharmacy it got it all so we were on one side of the store looking at the Halloween stuff we were passing through going to the other side and my husband's like why don't we just do you, you don't want to look at yarn while we're over here I said I wasn't going to we don't have the money for yarn and he goes well I mean we're over here you might as well look I said, I have no problem going and looking, but you know what's going to happen when I look. <laughs> Just so you know, you know what's going to happen when I go look at yarn. And he's like, yeah, it's okay. Let's go look. We have, we have a little bit of money. I go, okay. You said it. Don't get mad at me. You said it. So we went over there and I seen they had the two, two of the end caps were clearance. So I looked through the end caps, grabbed a couple of things that I liked. I went down the yarn aisle. They didn't have anything on sale. So I just, I didn't even really look. I just looked for the tags. Didn't see anything on the, the orange tags. They have orange tags when it's on sale. Didn't see any orange tags. So I just went straight down the aisle. Didn't even really look at anything. And I came back to the clearance again. Went through those. So I don't have, a, I don't have a whole lot of yards. I just bought a couple of things. But, so I, I didn't spend a whole lot. This, Bernat Softy Chunky was on sale. 75% off. 75 cents. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
Can you believe it? This is, like I said, Bernat Softy Chunky. Which is a really squishy, soft yarn. It's not super soft, but it's not... It's not rough by any means. It's just not like... It's not buttery soft, you know? But it is soft. It's not rough. Um... Okay, let's get my brain together now. 108 yards. Super bulky six. The color is... Let me see if this other one has... Because this has got the sticker right over the color. I got two of them. Gray blue, I think. Why? Yeah, I think gray blue. There's no gray in this at all. It's just like a baby blue. So I got two of these. Do they look? They do. They look a little off color-wise. Is it just me? I don't know. I don't know. Now I feel like I'm losing my mind. Maybe slightly. Let me look. Let me check the, the dye lot. <clears throat> no dye lot. It's a, it literally says on here, no dye lot. No dye lot. Okay, so whatever. And then they had one pink one, which is gray rose. I don't know why these are all... I don't know. I don't know. But this was the same thing. 75% off. 75 cents. Like, seriously? So I got three of those. I, well, I got one of those, but I got... I think those will go cute together. So. And then I saw this. And I love, I love this colorway. I had it before. Oh, all these fibers flying around. I had this colorway before and I loved it. So I seen it and I bought it again. I wanted more of it because I love this colorway so much. But like I said, I don't have a whole lot of money for yarn. So I got two of these. The Mandala Ombre. What color is this? Serenity. Is that what it is? They put the thing on sticker right over it. I'm almost positive it's Serenity. Let me see if I can pull, peel this sticker off a little bit. Serene. Serene, not Serenity. Serene. But I love the orange and the pinks. That's just... I love it. I love it so much. So, Mandela Ombre, 344 yards, a number four weight, 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. Um, like I said, the color is serene. It's 50% off, so it was four bucks. And I love the. I got two of these. I have no idea what I'm going to make yet. But I was thinking. I want to make a cardi out of them. I just. I would have to save up a lot of yarn. For that. Because I, I really. Maybe that's. I really don't think I have any more of these. I think that's all of my cakes right there. And I think I ran out of all of my mandalas. So I'll have to save these up do that but that is my yarn from my ear I um like I said I didn't buy a lot they didn't have a whole lot on sale most of the stuff they had on sale was with most of the stuff they had on sale was Karen Simply Soft and I don't like that and they had a lot of the blanket the Burnett blanket yarn on sale but I don't like blanket yarn that much I was touching and feeling all of the blanket yarn that they had and a lot of it just felt gross so I didn't get any of that and I was I was because I don't have that much money I was trying to just get what I know I would use 
and I know that I will use these this light I feel like this light is just blowing them completely out turn it down a little bit maybe it's not the light because I don't know they are really really and I just got to hold them closer. I don't know what's going on. I don't, but isn't that gorgeous? Oh, look at that. Look at those colors. And I love how the pink is just like all over the place. Like, you know, like you got this right here where it's just almost white. And then you have like the medium pinks down here. Then you have the slightly darker pinks hiding. Let me let me see if yep, right here. Hiding in there. Like and the same with the orange. Like this almost looks yellow and then this is like a darker orange. And it's just so I don't know, I love it. I love that. Like it's like a watercolor effect. And I love it. I really do. But, yeah, that's why I, I only got a couple of them, because I wanted to make sure I got stuff that I would use. And I know I will use all of these. I don't know what I'm going to use these chunkier ones for, but I'm going to use them for something. And if nothing else, I can hold on to them until I get some more. And um, But I don't even have to do that, because I was thinking I'd make a blanket with them, but I don't even have to do that. I can make like a nice cowl or a shawl or something because I think I have, I know I have some more, um, some more number six weight yarn in there. I don't think any of it's on here. I think all this is number five, but I know I have more six weight yarn in there so I can just see what goes together and see if I can make a shawl out of that, but, oh, sorry. Because adora has been going to school yesterday, we, we've been waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning. So her first day was yesterday, which for me is... Today, I'm filming this on Wednesday. So yesterday, which was Tuesday, <clears throat> we woke up at 7. Got her all set for school. Um, Was not able to take a nap. Adeline did not. Well, Adeline slept, but... I don't know. I just... I just couldn't relax. I like Adora was at school and I could not relax my brain. Like I was just thinking about her all day. I, I just couldn't. I cried when we dropped her off and what? I did. I cried when we dropped her. I waited until she was in the door. And then like the second she disappeared, just the tears came. And yeah, she took off without a problem. Like she wasn't scared. She wasn't like, I don't know. Like there's a little piece of me that wishes she, she, that wishes she didn't want to go. You know, she wanted to stay with mom. You know, she gave me, that wishes she would have given me just a little bit of a fight, you know. But I'm so glad that she just took off. She just, yeah. So she wasn't. Like I, I saw today, somebody, one of the little girls was really, she didn't want to go to school at all. She was crying and she was holding on to her mom and she didn't want to go. And the mom's like, it's okay. It's okay. You can go. And the teacher came up to her and she, she, um, uh, she touched the little girl's shoulder and she said, um, it's okay. I will walk with you. I will hold your hand and I will walk with you. Is that what, is that going to be okay with you? And the little girl nodded her head. Yes. And she let go of her mom and she held the teacher's hand and the teacher, she held on to her hand and she like held her real close to her as all the kids are going in. Cause you know, she can't leave the rest of the kids. So she waited for all the other kids to go in and then Adora went in and Adora was, I think one of the last ones to go in and, um, and the teacher pulled the little girl along and walked her to the classroom and like, I think that really 
really hit hit it for me that I'm glad Adora's not like that. I'm glad Adora is like, okay, mom, let me go. I'm, I'm, it's time for school. Like, yeah, but I miss her while she's gone. Like today is only the second day that she's been in school, but I miss her like crazy while she's gone. I like the house is so quiet while she's not here and she's gone for a full day. So she's gone from, we leave at about, cause we walk, we walk her to school. She, um, We, um, we only live a block and a half away from the school. So we walk her to school and then we walk and pick her back up. Um, so yeah. And then yesterday when she came home from school, she was, oh my goodness. I don't know. I, I'm guessing she was overtired because she was just in a horrible mood. Oh my goodness, she was in the worst mood. She was yelling and stomping her feet and she didn't want to talk about school. I, I, I was able to get her to tell me if she had a bad day or a good day. She told me she had a great day. So then I'm sitting there wondering, like, why? Then why are you so mad? Like, why are you so angry? Like, she kept on telling me, don't, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, we won't talk about it. I just gave her her snacks. And let her watch TV. For a while, she didn't even want to watch TV. She just wanted to sit on the couch and cry. So I had to hold her and rock her and, like, rub her back and run my fingers through her hair until she calmed down. And then she wanted to watch TV. And then she was just sitting on the couch chilling and relaxing. So today was a much better day. She went to school. She came home. She was skipping and jumping. And I had a great day. She had She's, got, she's wearing a little necklace that she made at school. And it was so cute. And um, yesterday she she had a, a little picture that she colored. And today she had another picture she colored. So I'm loving the artwork she's bringing home. But, and I will put some pictures of her up here at, after the video. I'll put some pictures of her. We did some pictures yesterday before school. And then I took a picture of her today on our way home from school because she's just like she's running ahead of me and she's skipping and dancing and jumping and twirling like the whole way home <laughs> so yeah it was it's been a good day like I said I'm glad she's in school I am so happy she's making friends and she's in she's loving school she is we asked her today because today she had no problem talking about school she couldn't exactly remember what she did in school but i know it rained today so they had to have recess inside so i'm so sorry guys oh what i was gonna say the reason why i'm so tired we've been getting up early so dark can go to school so we've been getting up at seven in the morning to get her fed, dressed, ready for school. And then hopefully I can start taking a nap soon. I couldn't take a nap yesterday because I was just... I was thinking about Adora all day. And then today, I, I could have taken a nap, but I didn't. I watched TV instead. So hopefully I can get a nap in tomorrow. But last night, I told you guys before, like, we all co-sleep. <clears throat> Try, still trying to get Adora in her own bed. I have a mattress on the floor next to our bed that I'm trying to get her into. She was in it for a little while, and then somehow or another, she just weaseled her way back into my bed. So we're all in the same bed. And last night, Adeline just punched me in the face over and over and over again punching me just swinging her arms all over the second I would put her arm back she'd swing it back at me hitting me in the face and the throat like just she's kicking my butt in her sleep I don't know what she was dreaming about but she was beating somebody up and Adeline she misses Adora while Adora's at school she talks about her because Adora's nickname is Buka and that's what Adeline calls her. And she just talks, she just says Buka all day long. Like Buka, 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 Buka. Like all day, all day. And she follows me around. She, she doesn't know what to do with herself. 
So she follows me around and she like, <laughs> she, she just is like right on top of me all day. She doesn't want to leave me. She like, if I'm sitting on the couch, she's got to be sitting on me. If, um, if I'm in the kitchen, she's got to follow me in the, she's like literally right on my heels everywhere I go. She wasn't that bad before. <laughs> Before Adora started going to school, she would like hang out with Adora, you know, Adora would keep her busy, keep her occupied. But now that Adora's in school, Adeline doesn't know what to do with herself. So I'm going to have to, I don't know. She's going to have to learn how to play by herself. She'll get there. It's only the second day, so I'm not expecting like her to figure all of this out right now, but she'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I've been up to, um, it's my yarn. I showed you two of my makes, which I was going to make, I was totally going to make that a third video, but there's only two makes, so it's not enough to make into a whole nother video. So I'm going to be working on some more stuff. I'm going to... I'm going to find that other baby bonnet that I made because I don't know where it's at, but I'm going to find it and um, I'm going to make some more stuff, some more baby stuff and I'm going to make some more Halloween stuff. I'm, I'm like, I don't know what I want to make more baby stuff or Halloween stuff. And then I'm like, well, I have more time to make the baby stuff than I do the Halloween stuff, but I'm. I don't know but like I don't know because I don't know when she's having her baby shower and I want to have I want to have a lot of it done before the baby shower and I want to make her like all of the things most of the things I want to make for Halloween are just small things so yeah I don't know I'll probably just alternate like the last thing I made was my spider so maybe I'll work on something for the baby next. Maybe a sweater. Baby stuff doesn't make too much to make because it's all it's all little, except for baby blanket, which I'm not I'm not gonna make one of those yet. But yeah. Okay. Well, I've kept you on here long enough. I will. Um, I I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on as far as videos go. Um, I'm just playing it by ear. I'm not really planning anything. Um, but yeah, I don't have anything planned. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. So videos will come when videos come. Um, yeah, I'll make them as I, as I have. I'll just... <sighs> My brain is starting to slow down and it's starting to not work. So I can't, I'm not speaking as well, but videos will come when they come. I'm not going to put pressure on myself to get them up because I mean, as you can see, I'm tired. I'm feeling a lot better from the surgery, but I'm still tired, still worn out because it's been a lot lately. But before I yawn too much more, I am going to let you guys go. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.